it's clear that, you know, he's talking about people being deceived um, through people who are preaching uh, incorrect doctrine. You know, a lot of people say it's not about doctrine. It's about the presence of God. It's not about doctrine. It's just about Jesus. Jesus isn't a doctrine. Jesus is a person, you know, yada, yada, yada. It's like at the same time, you can't follow Jesus without doing the things Jesus taught. It's impossible, right? It's, it's like, you know, if I'm your manager, if I'm your trainer at your new job, you can't really imitate me unless you're doing the things that I instructed you to do. <laughs> you know, if you, you can spend time with me. You can follow me around in the break room and wherever I go, but unless you're doing what I said to do, unless you're reading the instructional manual that I gave you as, an, as, a, as a newbie in orientation or whatever, I'm not going to be pleased with you. I might not even want you as an employee. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So we can have these amazing worship sessions and, and worship concerts, like all this, you know, churchy, amen, praise the Lord, all this stuff. But if, if we're not heeding to the doctrine of Jesus, it's like... You know, we're being deceived some way. You know, if we're listening to the wrong preachers, wrong pastors on TV or wherever they are in our community, we're being deceived. We need to shift. Uh, we can't follow Jesus unless we follow his doctrine.